Hello friends, welcome to my channel on pregnancy care. I am Daini. Today I will be talking about diabetes in pregnancy. You may have heard about uh, people having uh, diabetes during pregnancy. So, is it a uh, risk factor for any complications? Is it uh, very important to be dealt with? Let's see that. So, what is uh, diabetes in pregnancy? It is also known as gestational diabetes and uh, it is the glucose intolerance caused by the absolute or relative insulin deficiency. Maybe you are having some amount of insulin in your body but it is not able to use the insulin or there is less insulin produced in your body compared with the need. So, first, it is first seen in a pregnant woman who did not have diabetes before she was pregnant. Uh, diabetes is of three types. Uh, it is type 1, 2 and gestational diabetes. So, in, uh, type, in type 1, there is deficiency of insulin in the body. And in type 2, the insulin that is pr produced in the body is not utilized properly. And uh, gestational diabetes is the diabetes that is seen only during pregnancy. 2 to 3 percentage of the pregnancies are complicated by diabetes. And some women have more than one pregnancy affected by gestational diabetes. Maybe uh, if the primary has diabetes, in the second pregnancy also, she has a uh, chance of having diabetes. And it usually shows up in the middle of the pregnancy. So, your doctor may ask you to perform a uh, glucose tolerance test uh, by the week of 24 to 28 weeks. So, what are the risk factors of gestational diabetes? If you have any previous pregnancy with diabetes or macrosomia. Macrosomia is if you, if you have delivered a big baby. And obesity, if you are an obese person or if your uh, BMI or body mass index is more than or equal to 30, you are at risk of developing gestational diabetes. And also, a family history of gestational diabetes. Uh, like, uh, if your mother or sister or your grandmother had diabetes during their pregnancy, then you are also at risk of developing gestational diabetes and a history of polycystic ovarian syndrome and habitual ab abortion. If you have a history of habitual abortion, it may be because of gestational diabetes. And if you are at the age of uh, more than 40 years, then also you have a risk of having diabetes during your pregnancy. So what are the signs and symptoms that you may have if uh, you are having gestational diabetes? You may, uh, you may be ex uh, extremely hungry or thirsty and uh, maybe you have excessive urination or recurrent thirst compared to others and recurrent vaginal infections, especially candida infections. And if you are always tired, it may be a symptom of having gestational diabetes. So if you have any of these symptoms, then kindly visit your doctor in order to find out if you have gestational diabetes. So what are the tests that we can do uh, in order to find out gestational diabetes? First one is glucose tolerance test. Your doctor may order to do this test between the week of 24 to 28 uh, by taking 50, 50 to 75 gram of glucose. Uh, after taking the glucose, maybe uh, half an hour after, one hour after and uh, uh, two hour after taking the glucose. Serial monitoring of glucose will be done in order to see how much the uh, glucose is utilized in the body. So this is one investigation and uh, uh, ultrasound of your uh, baby will be done uh, to see whether the baby has grown uh, more than the normal uh, expected growth and also fasting blood sugar may be checked and postprandial uh, blood sugar that is two hour after your uh, breakfast also 
your blood sugar may be monitored as well as vaginal swab and urine analysis may be done in order to see whether there is protein in your urine so these are some investigations your doctor may uh, order to you then how can we manage in the preconceptional stage that is before you conceive if you have diabetes then control your glucose level 3 months before conception itself if you are already having a risk of diabetes or you are having diabetes then you may have to control your glucose level before conception as well as take folic acid 5 mg daily pre conception uh, uh, itself till uh, 13 weeks of pregnancy you may have to take uh, folic acid in order to prevent any neural tube defects so if you are uh, diagnosed with uh, diabetes during the pregnancy then monitor the glucose levels uh, and if necessary doctor may order daily insulin injections also and it is very important to have a carefully planned diet and you may also have to do regular exercise so uh, the type of exercise that you may have to do will be uh, suggested by your uh, doctor or gynecologist maintaining a healthy pregnancy weight that is also very important normally uh, approximately around 11 to 12 kg is the normal pregnancy weight gain and if you have uh, diabetes then your doctor may suggest uh, how much weight you have to gain during the whole pregnancy and uh, regarding exercise daily uh, doing a brisk walking daily is Uh, a very good exercise for pregnant ladies and uh, it may be of uh, 30 minutes per day for at least 5 days uh, per week that is the recommended exercise but in case if you have any complications like uh, if you have a placenta that is lying in your uh, lower segment or if you have any other complications related to cervical incompetence then the type of exercise that you may have to do is uh different and that has to be decided by your doctor and if you have a uncontrolled diabetes then you may have to get admitted in the hospital and uh, serial monitoring has to be done and if your baby is uh, growing big then uh, the doctor may advise to uh, induce labor or to plan uh, cesarean section before itself it may be a elective cesarean delivery because once uh, the baby grows more than uh, the normal size then it will be difficult to deliver normally uh, and it can lead to uh, different complications so your uh, do- doctor may order a cesarean section before itself and in case of hypoglycemia if you are taking some uh, oral hypoglycemic agent or uh, if you were on insulin maybe you you will have some hypoglycemic episodes in that case uh, your uh, doctor may give you oral glucose or a glucose infusion or uh, im injection of glucagon that depends according to your condition and during the labor what to be done sliding scale is used to control the glucose level throughout the labor sliding scale means according to the uh, blood sugar level the amount of insulin that is injected is decided in the postpartum period pre in pre existing diabetes mellitus control the glucose levels to the pre pregnancy state and in gestational diabetes mellitus insulin and diabetic diet may be stopped and uh, you may be encouraged to do regular exercises to avoid having diabetes later and follow up of the patient with gestational diabetes will be uh, done by the doctor you may have to do the oral glucose tolerance test 6 uh, weeks after the pregnancy that is also known as postpartum and it may be repeated 6 months later and every 3 years uh, you may have to undergo uh, glucose test regularly if you are having um, gestational diabetes then your baby is also 
at risk of having hypoglycemia after your delivery so uh, uh, follow up of the newborn is very important so blood sugar uh, within 1 hour of life and every 4 hours after breastfeeding may be checked by the um, your doctor or nurse so uh, may, baby may be followed up in neonatology unit if necessary so uh, you may have to breastfeed regularly if you are having gestational diabetes so what are the recommendations uh, for um, for you in case of preterm labor uh, few drugs are avoided and transfer the newborn to the neonatology department for uh, follow up and mother is monitored for blood sugar levels and if the mother was taking any medication for diabetes and if blood sugar is normal she is advised to stop these after the baby is born and the mother is given a blood sugar test at 6 week checkup and oral anti diabetic drugs should not be given during pregnancy except metformin that is the uh, recommended drug during pregnancy or insulin is given so we have already discussed what are the problems of gestational diabetes in pregnancy you may have a big baby or you may have to go for a cesarean section and if you are having gestational diabetes you are also at risk for having high blood pressure and it can lead to a condition known as preeclampsia that is uh, you may be uh, having higher blood pressure and because of that you may have uh, epilepsy or a stroke or this kind of uh, difficulty so controlling your blood sugar is very important and you may have uh, hypoglycemic episodes that is uh, episodes of low blood sugar so these are the different problems due to gestational diabetes in pregnancy so what are the tips for uh, women with gestational diabetes you may have to eat healthy foods uh, you have to plan your meal properly and exercise regularly uh, that we have already discussed and uh, uh, monitor your blood sugar often and take insulin if recommended by your doctor and get tested for diabetes after pregnancy as uh, explained before so how to me- uh, plan your meal you, you have to take less carbohydrates or carbohydrates with uh, low glycemic index and uh, you can take uh, protein fats and fi- uh, fibers uh, fiber rich food in um, place of carbohydrates so uh, how to count the carbs those with uh, high glycemic index are white and wheat breads and mashed potatoes watermelon uh, and fruit juices instead you can take foods with low glycemic index like beans brown rice tomatoes yogurt apples milk and you can take uh, one fruit a day so one way to uh, plan your meal is like the plate method so in your plate half of your uh, plate should be filled with uh, non starchy vegetables like salads green beans broccoli cauliflower cabbage carrots and etc so you can take uh, salads and fill one quarter with a lean protein such as chicken turkey beans tofu or eggs you may have to take protein Mm, also and fill one quarter with a grain or starchy food such as potatoes rice or pasta and if you uh, if you want you can skip the starch also and you can replace it with fruits and vegetables so uh, another method is having portion sizes of food so in this mm, one uh, first is 3 ounces of meat fish or poultry 3 ounces means a palm of hand only the palm size and uh, second is 1 ounce of meat or cheese that is thumb uh, a size of a thumb tip to base and third is 1 cup or 1 medium fruit that is of a size of a fist and uh, fourth is 1 to 2 ounces of nuts or pretzels uh, that is one cupped hand that is the amount of one to 2 ounces and 1 tablespoon means 1 thumb tip and 1 teaspoon means 1 finger tip 
so this is how you plan your uh, diet during pregnancy and having a healthy uh, diet is very important so in order to control your uh, blood glucose you should have uh, properly planned meal and have a regular exercise and uh, avoid uh, any tensions or stress in order to uh, because in stress extra cortisol will be released in your body and because of which there is extra glucose so kindly avoid all this uh, have a safe pregnancy thank you so much